And today we're going to be working on our modern lace pullover. For this design, I'm using Sprightly Yarns Acrylic Worsted. It's a beautiful worsted weight yarn. We have 201 yards on a ball. And the color I'm using is Misty Pink. You'll need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook for this project. And I'm using a Susan Bates hook. So for this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating our small size pullover. So we begin at the bottom here with our band, and then we continue to work up and we'll mark out our neck opening, making a neck opening, and then continuing to the back panel. So our band will be worked in rows. So let's begin with a slip knot and put that on your hook. And we'll chain 13. Now we'll work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So here's our first chain. There is our second chain. Go through the chain pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, go through the chain, and work single crochet stitches all the way down your chain. So in total you should have 12 single crochet stitches. Okay, so I've worked across and I have a total of 12 stitches. Now we'll chain one in turn. And for the remainder of our band, we're going to be working in the back loops only. So the loop closest to me here is our front loop and the loop to the back is the back loop. So we take our hook going down through the center of the stitch, working through the back loop only. And continue working through the back loops throughout the band. So I'll just finish off this row and for every row we'll be working 12 stitches. So at the end of the row we'll chain one and turn and just again work through the back loops only. Now I'm not including the chain one as a stitch so I'm working right into that first stitch across. So now for our small size, we're going to need a total of 75 rows. For this demonstration, to keep it a little bit quicker, I'm only going to work up 21 rows and then I'll work the lace pattern for you. So for the small, you're going to want to work across a total of 75, which I have here. But I'll finish my rows here off camera for my sample and then I'll meet you back up again to go through the lace stitch pattern. Okay, so I've worked up my 21 rows. Now if you're making the small, you want to do 75 in total. So then at the end of the row, you just want to chain one and now what we're going to do is work across our rows, the long part of the band. So just work across, single crochet stitches the number of rows you have. So I'll work across 21, but if you're making the pullover, you'll want to do 75. Okay. 
Okay, so I've worked across. Now I'll chain one and turn. And now this will be the right side of your work. And row one here of our lace stitch pattern will be our setup row. So to start, we're gonna work a single crochet in the first stitch, the second stitch, and the third stitch. And then we'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip over three stitches. One, two, three. And then we'll work a single crochet in each of the next three stitches. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip three stitches, one, two, three. And in the next three, we'll do single crochets, one. And then we're just repeating this along. Okay, so I've ended with my three single crochet. And now we'll chain one and turn. Row two of the pattern will be the first row of the repeat when we work through this. So we'll work one single crochet in the first, one single crochet in the next, chain three, one, two, three. Now here's our chain five. In the third chain of the chain five, we're, gonna, we're going to do a single crochet. So there's one, two, three. So that third chain, work a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. And then you can see we have our three single crochet here. We're gonna single crochet in the second single crochet, right in the center. So for this row, if you can remember, you're chaining three and single crocheting the center of the single crochets and the center of the chain five throughout. So chain three. And then in the third chain of the chain five. So one, two, three. And when I go through it, See how there's the two loops sort of on the top there and one on the bottom? Just make sure you're going through that the two are on the top and it's a more secure uh, single crochet if you go through there. Chain three, and then a single crochet in that second single crochet stitch. And repeat across. When we're getting to the end here, we're single crocheting in those last two single crochet stitches. And then for row three, we're chaining three and turn. Our chain three here is counting as a stitch and we're gonna work a double crochet in the next single crochet. Then we'll chain two. And now we're working three single crochet, but we're gonna do it in this chain, the single crochet, and then the next chain. So we're skipping over the first two chains, working a single crochet into the third chain of the chain three working a single crochet in the single crochet, and then we're working a single crochet in that first chain. And now we'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're skipping over this single crochet and then we're working the three single crochet 
in that third chain of the chain three, the single crochet in the first chain. Single crochet, single crochet in the single crochet, and then single crochet in that first chain. And then we'll chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. We skip over the next single crochet, and then in this single crochet, we do single crochet in the third chain, single crochet in the single crochet, and single crochet in the first chain. And then we're finishing off now with a chain two and a double crochet in those last two single crochet stitches. And now for row four, chain one and turn. And for row four, we're working a single crochet in the first, a single crochet in the next stitch, and then we're chaining three, one, two, three, and we work a single crochet in the center of our three single crochets. So we're back to that chain three single crochet repeat. Chain three, and then in the third chain of our chain five, so one, two, three, we do a single crochet, one, two, three, and then here's our three single crochets in the center. We're doing another one and repeat that across. And when we reach the end, we're doing, I've chained three, we're doing a single crochet in that double crochet and a single crochet in the turning chain. And now we're on to row five, which is the final row of our repeat. So we'll chain one. We'll work a single crochet in the first, a single crochet in the next, and a single crochet in that first chain of our chain three. And then we'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now working through this pattern a lot, I've made a few errors on the way. So you want to make sure that you really follow along with your pattern and kind of understanding how the pattern works. So as you can see here, we have that single crochet, three single crochet, single crochet, and it makes sort of almost the star-like appearance right here. So now what we're doing is we're skipping over that because we want to make another one here. We skip over this one. We're making sort of another star shape here and so on. So if you can kind of keep that in mind as you go, we're alternating them throughout the stitch pattern. In each row, we're either doing a chain five or a chain three. So now we've done our three single crochet, chain five, skipping over this diamond or star shape, and then we're starting to make our next one here. So we do a single crochet in the third chain. single crochet in the single crochet and a single crochet in the next. So we chain five, one, two, three, four, five. So you should be skipping over that diamond or star shape that you have there and starting to create your next one. So a single crochet in the third chain single crochet in the single crochet and a single crochet in the first chain. And 
one, two, three, four, five. We're skipping over this and then we're ending with our three single crochet. So a single crochet in that third chain and a single crochet in the last two. And then we're back to row two of the repeat pattern. So you can go back and follow along. We're repeating rows two through five. And I'll just go over row two one more time, but you can just rewind the video or follow along with your pattern, which I highly recommend because you can certainly get messed up on this repeat pattern if you're not careful. So we'll do a single crochet in the first. We'll do a single crochet in the next. Then we'll chain three, one, two, three. And in the third chain of the chain five, one, two, three, we'll do a single crochet. One, two, three. And then a single crochet in the center of our single crochets. One, two, three. A single crochet in the third chain. One, two, three. And repeat that across. When we're getting to the end, we're chaining three and then a single crochet in each of the last two single crochets. And then when we get to row three, we're back to our chain three, making those doubles. And this pattern also, it's really important that we're gonna block this when we're finished, just to really give it the separation and stitch definition that it needs. So once you block it, you're gonna really see the diamond shapes. Also see that the line sort of, the heaviness of it sort of go in a diagonal. Looks really nice, but blocking it really helps to bring out the beautiful stitch pattern. Okay, so I've worked through a total of 11 repeats of rows two through five. So my work measures, the lace part measures approximately 17 inches. With the band, I have about 20 inches. Now you could make this longer if you want or shorter to be more of a crop style. It's really up to you the length that you wanna go. So now what I've done is I've marked out my neck opening. So for my small size, I have three chain five spaces on either side. This is just an easy way to mark it. And then I have six, one, two, three, four, five, six chain fives as my neck opening. And I've put my stitch markers in that single crochet between our, we've got our three single crochet here. I've just put my markers. This of course could be adjusted if you want a tighter neck or a looser neck on a larger size. So now I finished off on a row five. So now starting on my row two repeat, this is, this is my wrong side that I'm working on. So this is the start of what our row two pattern would be. Just make sure, I think I've already got my chain going there. So chain one and turn. So for our row two, we work a single crochet in the first and in the next. Chain three, one, two, three and then a single crochet in the third chain. One, two, three. Chain three, one, two, three. We work a single crochet in the center of those single crochets. So the second single crochet stitch, chain three. And in the third chain, we do a single crochet 
chain three. And in the center of our three single crochets, another single crochet. One, two, three. One, two, three, a single crochet. One, two, three. And now we're to our neck opening. So we, we can remove that and do our single crochet. And now what we're gonna do is chain 47 for the neck opening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we do our single crochet in the next marker. Just remove that marker and do your single crochet stitch. And then we continue with our pattern. So we chain three, do a single crochet in the third chain, one, two, three, chain three, working a single crochet. And just repeat this now across. Coming to the end, so I've chained three and then a single crochet in the last two. And for row three, we'll be chaining three and turn. Okay, so for row three, we're skipping our first stitch. Our chain three is counting as a double crochet. Work a double crochet in the next, chain two. And then we're doing our three single crochet. So our first single crochet is in the third chain. Single crochet in the single crochet and a single crochet in that first chain. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We skip over this single crochet and in the next so repeat this part of the pattern that you're already familiar with across until we come up to that neck opening. And then I'll work through that with you. Okay, so now we're getting to the chain. I've chained five and we're skipping over and then we can pretend now that this is our, let's look at this as if it's our chain three. So we skip two chains and then we start doing our three single crochet in the third chain, the next chain, and the next chain. And then we'll chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And so if you look back, a chain five is skipping over one, two, three, four, five stitches. So we're gonna do the same here. We're gonna skip over the next five chains. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll do three single crochet. One, two, three, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip over five chains, one, two, three, four, five, and then three single crochet. And just kind of keep repeating that across. So as we come to the end of the chain, we should have two chains remaining, just like we started on the other side. We'll chain five. And then, so we're skipping over this first single crochet and then we're doing our chain, our single crochet in that third chain and in the single crochet 
and in that first chain. So let's kind of take a peek back at what we've done. So this is how it should look. So we have this one here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in total that borders. And it actually kind of makes a really cool look for the neck edge. And now we'll continue working across in our same pattern. So chain five, skipping over this one and going into this one. The third chain. So then I'll just meet you up again at the end. Oh, we're almost there. So I'll just continue. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, and then we chain two and do our double crochets in the final two. And that's looking great. And so now we'll be on to row four of the pattern chain one and turn. So we'll work one single crochet in the first and in the next. Chain three, one, two, three. And then we're doing our single crochet in the center of the three single crochets. Chain three and in the third chain. One, two, three. and chain three, one, two, three, and just repeat this all the way across. Okay, and I'm just coming to the end. I've chained three and then a single crochet in the double and a single crochet in the turning chain. Chain one and turn. And now we're on to row five of the repeat pattern. So work one single crochet in the first and in the second, and then one single crochet in that first chain. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we're skipping over this section here and starting our diamond pattern here. So a single crochet in the third chain, a single crochet in the single crochet, and a single crochet in the first chain. And so we're just repeating our pattern across. So chain five. Okay, so you can see how pretty the neck opening is looking. And now we're just gonna complete another 11 repeats. So you're just wanting to keep working until both of your panels match. So if you match this up here, you fold it over, you wanna keep working until we get to the bottom section. And then I'll meet you up again to show you how to do a join as you go band. It's also really simple. So this is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to work up the rest of my lace pattern off camera and I'll meet you up when it's time to do the join. Okay, so here's all my work. I've worked up 11 repeats and then I've ended on, I've made one more row of our row two of the repeat, repeating two through five. 
So I'm just ending over here and now I'm going to show you how we're going to do our join as you go band. We want to begin, of course, by working across in single crochet stitches. Okay, so what we need to do is work across 75 single crochet stitches, which is what we started with, with our band. So we'll work through our first single crochet and our second single crochet. And now for every chain space, we need to work two single crochet. And then work into the single crochet and then in our chain three space we need to work two single crochet and if you count that up across two single crochet for every chain three space and every single crochet stitch across you should have 75 or the number for the size you're working on So I'm going to continue just working across and then I'll meet you up. Okay, so I've just worked across and we're ending here with our two single crochet stitches. And as you can see, I've switched up my hooks. I This is a 5.5 I'm working with and it has a great, I really love the soft grip handle. I'm really in love with these hooks. You can get the bright set from We Crochet or Knit Picks. I'm, and they have sizing two all the way up to size six in the package. And really, I'm really um, typically a Susan Bates hook kind of girl, but I am absolutely loving the comfort of these hooks and they're just working out great for me. So if you're interested in these hooks, I will have the link in the description box. So now we'll begin working on our join as you go band. So just as we started at the beginning with our chain, we're going to chain 13 for our band. Okay, and now we'll work in the second chain from the hook. So there's one, two. We'll work single crochets down the chain for a total of 12. So there's one, two, three, Okay, it's always important to count two. So I have 12. Um, every row it's great to count just so you don't lose track. So now here is our base row. Here's the top of our stitch. So you can see this is the first stitch here. Now we're going to skip that stitch because this row is equivalent to this stitch right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into the next two along that base row. So there's one and there's two and that accounts for the next two rows that we're going to make. So now you want to turn your work, look so that you're looking at your stitches here and we have to work up 12 stitches. So if you're unsure as to where to go in, just count down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there's the first stitch. And now what we're doing is we're working in the back loops only. So take your hook, pushing it through, and working up. 12. Looked at my 12 stitches. Now you can chain one and turn. And now we're working back down the row 
12 stitches in the back loops only. So the entire band will be worked in the back loop. And I am always counting these rows just to be sure I'm not dropping a stitch. Okay, so I'm working up to my last stitch here. There's number 12. And then we're looking down again at the base row. And we're slip stitching into the next two. And now that will account for the next two rows we're going to make again. So we're turning, just pushing your yarn so that it's back, making sure we're working into the right stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we begin going into this stitch in the back loop only. Working up 12. And we're just repeating what I've already shown you. So at the top, we'll chain one and turn and work back down, slip stitch to the next two stitches along the base row. At the end, chain one and turn. And so you can see here how our band is going to look and we're just joining it as we go along. So we're going to keep working across that base row until we have our total of 75 rows so that we're equivalent to what we started out with. So I have a bit of work ahead of me getting all of these rows done. So I'm going to continue to work this off camera, working across all my rows, and then we're going to need to do some blocking before we seam it together. So now there's my 12th stitch. You can always see what we've already slip stitched into this one. So we need to slip stitch into those next two to join up that band. Turn, move your work out of the way, and begin working back up. Okay, it's super important that we block our pullover. So I'm just gonna show you here how I've set up um, to block. So it's really important to follow the measurements in the pattern to block for your size. So for the small size, I'm gonna come over here and show you. I've pinned along the sides and I've made sure to measure out my width as well as my length. So the width of our small needs to be 20 inches and our length from the start of the lace to our neck opening is 19 inches. So I'm pinning it. I've used a spray bottle to dampen my piece and then I've just stretched it out. The lace looks so much nicer if it's all stretched out and blocked. So I've stretched it and pinned it and allowed it to dry overnight, but this has actually been left a couple days now. So it will hold, it's completely dried and it will hold now its shape. So now all I'll do is start removing all of my pins and then I'll show you how to seam up the pullover. Okay, so now once I've taken all of my pins off, I've remeasured and I'm measuring about 19 inches now in my width. So it has not completely retained all of its stretch, but that's okay. You can just always go up a size if you want a little bit looser fit. Okay, so I've used some stitch markers and just marked my arm opening. So I have my right sides facing and I've marked seven inches for my arm opening. So that's gonna give lots of room for the small size. 
and I'm going to begin to just seam my edges so you can just take your yarn needle and a piece of your yarn and join onto the bottom. You can just start off with knotting it. And then just working through each stitch. Each stitch of your band. And you're going to seam this all the way up to your marker. So here's my seam and just what I'd like to do if you have one is just steam it just to help sort of flatten that out. So I'm going to take a steamer just to my seams just so that they lay really nice and flat. Mm -hmm. 